talk about what is this .env file and how we can use this .env file to like simplify our code, store stick secrets and uh, avoid hard coding any values in our code. Right? So you can see like I have created this .env file and that is kind of present in the parent directory of this folder and uh, there we, I have kind of mentioned what are the uh, things that I need like one of them is like model path uh, where I have kind of mentioned from which path I should load the model so this is actually a gguf model of mistral which I have stored here so I have mentioned the exact path of that then also we have like details like on which uh, URL and on which port I should expose the fast api so uh, in case you don't know what fast api is i have a video that is coming up which will talk about how to uh, use fast api uh, to create any app which is mainly focused on uh, for this project is the llm app right then we have the source data where our data set is present so you can see i have a folder which is source data there few of the pdfs which are related to large language model papers uh, that are present here Right. So I am mentioning though that my source data is uh, this which I will use straight away this uh, variable and use it inside my code to load and where the vector store is also located and if I am like persisting the vector store in a particular directory then what that path is so that I have also, also mentioned here so you can see like uh, the vector store is present here there I have persist, persisted the chroma db and, and stored the uh, vector database here uh, which can be reload at later point of time then we also have a together api key right so this api key i have mentioned here xxx because i don't want to expose my together api key to the uh, using this video so i have just mentioned here as xxx so you can like treat this as a actual path where you are storing the api key so in case you are planning to use openai for any of your projects so you can store your openai API key in this dot environment file then we have the embedding model uh, which embedding model we are using here and also the together model path right so which model from the together API I am using here uh, to do this inferencing part right now let's see how this uh, how to load this uh, secrets from this dot env file or the variables from this dot env file right so if you have seen the requirement.txt in the last video so we have this python dot env that i am installing here right so this library actually helped me to load all the values that are present in this dot env file right now let's try to see using a particular notebook how to do that so what i will do is i will uh, import at first the library from python from dot env import uh, load.env so I'm importing this uh, thing so at first like uh, so if you remember in the last video we kind of installed uh, the required libraries that are required for this particular project so currently it is kind of installing the ipython uh, ipy kernel to load it in, in in the notebook fashion so once that is done what we can do is we need to just call this function to load the uh, .env files now to load a particular uh, variable what we need to do is we need we need to import the import os then using the os.getenv what we need to do is we need to mention the particular uh, variable name so if i want to just load the model path so then that uh, value i need to mention here and it will kind of give you the particular uh, variable that is present inside the .env file right so similarly you can also get the values which are related to your secrets like uh, together api key and all other secrets that are present in this .env uh, file so uh, just to keep this uh, in mind that whenever you are pushing your code to github you should not expose your .env file to the uh, github Right. so what you can do is you can create a dot ignore file a dot git ignore file and there you can mention this dot env and few other files which you don't want to push to the uh, github repository right so i hope you got an understanding how to use this dot env file and um, you can how you can using this uh, dot env file you can avoid hard coding in your code and also you can manage the secrets using the uh, dot env file so i hope you like this video uh, I will see you in the next video of this series.